Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JSON REST API tutorial for beginners and this is part 14. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the methods type actually we will provide in our custom route. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress JSON REST API to get the clear concept about these playlists. So basically guys, if this is your first video, then I strongly suggest you to watch part number 13 because this is our phase 3 of this playlist. In our first phase and second phase, we have discussed lots of things in WordPress JSON REST API. So this is the third phase that we have started in from part number 13. Okay, so basically what we did so far we have actually written some sort of code in functions.php file so if we scroll that so you can see that this is the thing that we have written actually in our last video session okay we have added a action hook like rest api in it in which we have made a callback function in this callback function we have registered our custom route in which we have given like method and callback and this is namespace and this is route so all the parameters actually we have discussed in our last video session okay and on the behalf of this url if this url will be hit then this function will be called okay and this function is responsible to print all the users of our wordpress database so these are the things that we have seen actually in the last video session okay so in this video session we are going to discuss about that what should be the method type what are the methods actually we will pass in this case okay so let's say that first of all you have to make s and let's say that get post put delete and patch Okay. so basically we can pass these five types of methods inside this methods parameter of this array okay these are the five basic methods of any request okay so after saving so just if I copy all these methods first go to editor and paste it here okay so basically these are the methods like get post put delete and patch okay so if you go to our browser just copy the your site URL and type site URL plus WP JSON. You will get all the JSON object data in of this WordPress setup. Okay, just copy one time. Just refresh this page. Copy all the JSON object. Open website called JSON Editor Online. Paste all the contents inside this editor. Click on this icon and this icon also so just click on route section okay so just scroll down after scrolling we can see that this is the route actually we have registered this is our namespace and this is the route name okay we have registered in our last video session if i click on that after clicking so if we go to the method section so i just click on that and right now i think that the page has not been refreshed so basically we have right now the get method but actually what we will see we will see that these are the methods that we have registered with this namespace okay so let's refresh once more to this page and successfully as we can see so if we copy all these objects once more go to this editor paste it here and let's click on this icon after clicking if i click on routes just scroll down click on OWT view and simple and these are the five methods type okay so if I click on this icon so these are the methods that we have registered with OWT slash v1 namespace okay get post put delete and patch these are the five basic request method types okay so basically if we go to browser and just make copy of this link section if we copy hit enter so this is the data actually we are getting why this data we are getting because we have handled only for the get method this callback function actually runs for this get method only so we need to run this method for all this request type so how could we actually handle this right now this callback function is only responsible to handle this get request type okay so if you go to browser once more just open up click on this icon show apps and click on this postman okay to test our put patch delete and the post method type 
so just close this pop-up and let's say that copy this route go to postman and paste inside this okay so if we click on send button and remember this is a post type okay this is a post type so if we click on that these are the data but actually these are data handled by only get method okay so accordingly if we change any of the method type that we have registered with this name space or route we will get the same result okay these are the user details so if we suppose click on delete again click on send so this is again the same data if you click on get we will get the same data so how could we actually handle all different types of methods with a different call okay so right now we have only one option to get the user details but we want that every request method type should have different data to display okay so just get rid of all these things first so let's say that request type okay and this should be let's say server and inside this square bracket just make use of request method okay so basically it will contain the value of our request type the request either it will be get post put delete and patch okay so be on the behalf of this variable so let's say that if request type equal to equal to get okay so what we have to do in that condition else if let's say request type equal to equal to post okay so what we will do in that condition so let's say if request type equal to equal to delete else if request type equal to equal to patch and finally let's say that else if request type equal to equal to put okay so finally we have handled for each of the different methods actually we will request by this namespace or this route okay so now what we have to do the next so this is the callback function with we have handled with the method type so let's I am adding suppose return and let's say array and let's say status equal to one and method equal to get okay so again I am copying this statement just pasting inside all these methods types so that we can get each of the response type and we will detect that which actually block has been run okay so let's say that method equal to get post sorry and it's delete and let's say patch and finally this is put okay so finally we have handled all the request types inside this callback function by the help of this variable we have compared with each of the method type like get post delete patch and put on the behalf of these methods actually we can run our each block separately okay so if you go to the postman again and also guys if you have not installed postman to your chrome desktop system so just go to browser and this is actually extension of the chrome okay so if we type postman chrome extension then the first link you should get just click on this icon after clicking on that you actually add postman to your chrome extension store and this is how I have installed okay so back to our postman and now I am able to hit each of the different methods that I have registered for this URL because we have successfully handled each of these okay so let's say that by means selecting get method for this URL let's click on send button and successfully we can get a different message like a status equal to one and method equal to get why this message because we actually getting request type equal to get okay and by comparing request type equal to get this is the message actually we got okay so let's change the method type should something called post okay now in this variable actually we will get the post method type okay so if we click on this send button so successfully we can get the separate block for this method type so again choose a different one let's say patch 
so this is a different method type okay so now we can handle each of the method type with the same callback function okay so this is how actually guys we can handle our different types of methods by using callback function okay you can use your custom code inside each of these block that what actually you want on get method on post method on delete patch and put method okay what are those operations you need to handle all these operations block by block separately okay suppose we want to iterate or retrieve each of the user details on the method type get so by getting user details you can put actually all the codes inside here but actually you want that by getting some argument values you want to save some of the user details to the database so by getting the post method type by getting the post method type taking all the informations from the argument you can save all these details by going to this request type okay so block by block you can handle each of these operations separately okay and one of the most important thing about WordPress is that guys we don't need to write all these methods type is static in the way inside this methods parameter WordPress has provided a class and the class is called WP rest server okay by the help of this class you can actually or we can actually add these methods dynamically by calling it some of the static properties okay so if I suppose make comment to this parameter and let's say that methods and this is the class okay this class provides some of the basic static properties which actually provide these methods okay so now let's call a property called readable and readable is basically responsible to provide the git method type okay so if I make semi comma here and let's say that if I just make comment of that so if I again uncomment this line so basically what actually we have provided by this line this line is responsible to exactly the same what we have written so far okay so let's undo all these things so basically methods WP rest server and this is a static property called readable basically responsible to execute the git method type okay so if I save this file again go to browser just refresh this page once more click and save copy all these JSON object go to JSON editor online paste all these things right here and click on this icon if I click on this icon just click on routes and again go to OWT view and sample click on this and method is exactly what we are expecting this is the first method we have registered by using WP race server provided by WordPress okay so just go to postman if I click on by selecting get method type and just click on send and that this is the response actually we are getting okay again selecting some extra method type just click on that and rest no route because this route actually we have not registered for the post request type only we have registered for this get method okay so this is responsible for only get method okay so if I just make comment of that before commenting let's copy and paste this line and the next thing that we need to do is that createable and createable is only responsible for the post method okay so it is only responsible for the post method okay so if I go to again postman just I'm selecting right now post click on send and this is the statement that we are getting by our callback function which actually handled by this block if I select instead of post let's say get again just click on send rest no route as expected okay so by the help of this static property creatable we can register our route only for post methods okay again copy and paste this line and let's change instead of this creatable just make comment first this and instead of creatable let's say editable and basically editable is responsible for providing the methods type called post put and patch okay so let's say post put and patch editable static property is basically responsible to provide all these methods okay so if I save this file go to postman just click on get rest no route because get method is not in the list okay so if I select instead of get let's say post click on this working just click on put 
working and let's say patch working so if I select delete again so just click on delete and rest no route okay so to register this delete request method type just go to editor again and just make copy of this line let's comment first out and just change editable to deletable and deletable is basically responsible for providing the delete method type okay so let's say that this is only responsible for providing delete method okay so if we save this file again go to postman and now click on the send button it's working but if I select instead of this let's say another type post so rest not route is expecting result okay so how can we fix all these issue means we want that all the methods actually available by providing a simple route okay how could we actually handle this we are not going to use single individual these properties to actually get all these methods step by step okay so to fix this issue WordPress has provided another property of this class and this is called all methods all methods contain basically the collection of get post put patch and delete methods type okay so if I copy this line again just make comment of this line and let's say that basically responsible for all methods okay so just change deliverable to all methods all methods you can see that responsible for get post put patch and delete all the request type that we have seen this is the static way that we have written and this is the best way to re actually write okay so if I save this file again just go to postman click on this post working again just select get working again let's say delete and it's working again okay so basically these are the methods guys by the help of which we can register our methods type and this is the callback function actually by getting the request method type either it should be get post delete patch and put all we can handle block by block separately okay so this is the thing guys that we have studied or we have learned in this video session about the methods type in making our custom route in WordPress okay so basically the basic concern of this video session guys have completed and now in the next video session we will learn about the argument that how can we pass argument to our routes I mean how can we pass the parameters into the body section okay if I select post so how can we write the parameters inside this body function in the pair of key and value okay see so all these things are comes under the argument section and we will see in the later video session okay so in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give you a reply as soon as possible okay so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day